Hi again guys, uh, we've got Lucy back in from Athletica Physiotherapy. Um, let's just talk a little bit more about back pain, maybe more associated with cycling. Say for example, I've got lower back pain, uh, what can I do about it at home to, to help? Absolutely, so really when it comes to sort of self-management, there's a few things I would look at doing. Some stretching, a little bit of sort of management from foam rolling, massage balls and things like that and strength training and there's three exercises I would really sort of recommend doing that you can just do at home, you don't need any equipment and it takes 30 seconds, not much at all. Um, and what those stretches will target are muscle, ligaments and a little bit of bone. So basically the vertebra, they're the bones that make up your spine, get super duper stiff when we sit in one position for too long and they just help get everything moving and keep it ticking over. And it'd be really, really nice to add into your everyday life. Yeah, brilliant. I think that's the thing is, you know, someone wants something that's nice and easy, that's not going to sort of take too long and 100%. maybe get into a routine that sometimes people think, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Um, you know, how easy is it? Do you, can you, is it, you know, do you, uh, do you need furniture to do this with? Can you do it just still on the spot? Super easy, on the floor. You don't even have to be on the floor. You know, if you've got no space, do it in, the, in your bed. You know, so it's very, very minimal. It doesn't need much time and as much as you can commit to it, whether it's one day, whether it's just after riding, Ideally every day if you can if you're doing a lot of riding, but the better you do at it The more you're gonna get benefit from yeah fantastic. Yeah, and it, you know is it, is it just lower back really that you're gonna suffer from with not that? really cyclists You'll see a lot of neck issues as well and actually rib cage issues You know so if you're coming further down the spine sort of that mid back range where you're sort of sitting Into the back here and because everything's connected, you know from your, if you've got a lower back tightness Your neck can be sore if you've got neck issues that travel through your ribs and into your shoulders so, and generally with necks, it's actually to do with shoulder strength and sort of how heavy you're going into the bars and things like that. And there's a couple of little exercises I can show you to help sort of alleviate any neck tightnesses. And again, just like with the lower back, it's the same kind of structures that are going to be tight in there. Necks, however, when we bring into sort of work and life balance and stuff like that, they can also be really affected if you're a desk sitter as well, you know, so it's really, a really sort of important subject to get nice and stretched out of there as well before you get on the bike as well. Right, thanks Lucy. So, um, with regards to these exercises, what can I do? Right, let me show you. Okay, so the first exercise I'm going to show you is cat-cow. So if you come down onto all fours for me, Ollie. Perfect. So this is going to help your neck, your ribs and your lower back. So on your inhale, if you look up, arch your back, ribs come down, perfect. And exhale, chin to chest, ribs go up, pelvis rounds under, perfect. So we're really looking for that dome going up. And then on that inhale, drop back down. You're looking for that lovely S shape and arch into that lower back on your inhale, perfect. So the second exercise I'm gonna show you is called thoracic rotation. So get yourself set up so you're feeling nice and comfortable, lovely. Yep. And then inhale, reach one hand up, doesn't matter which. And exhale, round it through, trying to scoop it behind that arm, then drop that ear and shoulder down, lovely stuff. So we're really looking for that rotation here through the rib cage, <laughs> and then bring it back up. And then you can keep repeating as much as you want to, or you can sit and sustain stay in the pose, whatever feels best for your body. And the third exercise I'm gonna show you is lumbar rotations. And this is to help your lower back and a little bit into your hips. Let one leg go long, perfect. Bring that knee in now, and if you rest your head down, remember you wanna try and keep as relaxed as possible. Yep. This hand is now gonna come to that knee. Hold on to it and then pull it across towards me. Lovely. But can you see how your shoulder is lifted here? Oh, yeah. Bring your knee back slightly. Yeah. There, that's it. And this is going to isolate it to your lower back rather than you getting a twist from up there. Oh, okay. And yeah. again, you can hold it, come back or whatever feels best for your body. And there you go, that's three exercises to try to help your spine. If you want any more, please get in touch. <laughs>